just going to break down um how i make this song for you guys listen to it then i will just solo the vocals alone mute everything explain certain things to you then we move on if you want me to work on your project for you my number is there just link up and let's get into business so listen to how this song sound and i'll break down everything for you So without the beat, this is what we are having now. Masemio, Masemio, this is my story. Uh, way back in up was say small boy cry where I come no we are say tie ka cry for many a see a mama who say we are say mo bian see your da say so i have to create a group for it then i send everything to the group here yeah you can see it so let me mute everything then explain it to you listen to the raw vocals how it sounds i always tell you that before you can get good mixing a uh, good sound you have to make sure that uh, good vocal mixing you have to make sure that your vocals have been recorded properly yes and they sound good and nice you cannot just record any vocals any bad vocals and you want to fix it with your plugins or any effect trying to make it sound good whilst the uh, foundation i mean the recording wasn't great so without any effect on it is the raw vocals you can tell that this vocals was recorded properly this is my story. Ah. Sorry, so the reverb and other stuff was on it. So this is the raw vocals now. Way back in up was say small boy cry where I come no we are say tie ka cry for many a see a mama who say we are say mo be anti or I say yeah every fear every fear and I say ye be ye baby. Ninny name or crime in him said I change ye be ye. JHS, we are people, number SHS, we are no figo. I know guess set so half you blow what they want find job to we a figo. You can tell that this book has sound good and nice, right? It's not necessarily about your equipment uh, alone. Much more it's all about your ideas, your so you can have big studios with all the equipment there but if you don't have the knowledge you cannot actually make it sound good and professional so what i did here first is have to tune the vocals yes so the key is in um so i'm using this auto tune auto tune 8.1 and the key is um, d flat major and the retune speed is around this this you have to tune it to your own taste how you want it some artists want it more some too want it less so i think this one this why i thought it's actually okay for me so and i humanize it in a way i don't want it to sound like a robot so that is it with the auto tune on it yes and the next thing that i did is um i use this c1 git here you always know if you have been watching my tutorials just to block all those background noises here so you have to know why you are putting certain plugin on your vocals Yes, you are not just doing it for doing sake or you see anything i'm just doing it so this is actually blocking all those background vocals uh, background noises and everything you get it we recorded it in the booth we closed the booth and everything but I put it on it and see all those breath and those mouth noises that will come inside so that's what i'm actually using it for not only the uh, background noises but when you are singing you can actually see you'll be doing some <laughs> those kind of things from inside if i don't want to be cutting them from inside i can use this to block those ones right 
so we can have clean vocal now now this is how i did process it after tuning and blocking those background noises what i did is first of all eq right eq and this is the eq that i've been using um all the time so cut the low ends around 126 don't follow rules some people have been following rules that um around this uh frequencies is where you're going to actually get the body of it you're going to get the sweetness here you're going to everybody and his own vocals how it sounds and it is unique where somebody's own the frequency where somebody's own sounds great and nice my your own might be i mean sound harsh or bad over there so just listen to the vocals and just see maybe it is why it's actually not working for you then you take those bad frequencies out i always like to take away the bad stuffs out before um i try to compress it and make it um the, make the dynamic range actually uh, even right so know why you are putting it on it don't just follow rules here to here you are getting body of the vocals here to here now just listen to it and cut it according to what you really want to cut it listen to how the vocals sound if there is any problem or anything then you go by it rather than just throwing anything on it yes yeah, so the next thing is compressor this is how i did the settings for the compressor we know the work of the compressor right so if you look at the vocals here right you can see that this waveform here this waveform here 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 there is much difference in them right so at this point the artist was actually shouting yeah so but when we were recording one thing that i didn't tell you from the beginning when we were recording um i put let's say this what I, the one that i used to record i've actually the track that i used to record i've actually removed it from this side i put a compressor on it let's say this one this is in mono so a mono compressor like this then um, because i don't want to be using my preamp on the this one we have fast attack and also fast release then i make sure the ratio is around maybe two point something then this is around maybe 18 between 18 and 20 so that i can get a compressed vocals coming inside for me right yeah so it wouldn't be blasting and all those things here to control the dynamic range over there for me so i use that one to record when i'm recording this is the only thing that i put on it in different track i create different track then maybe i'll rename it record you get it i'll rename it record then i put only this compressor here no to tune no c1 gate nothing only this and i will not send it to the group for anything it will just be our normal stuff you get the stereo art just like that then i'll record it and make sure i finish recording before um i will just move it to the um track which is actually having a send into the group then i go and mix it over there so that i can get a perfect recording rather than putting it on it everybody in his own way so i think this one works for me and i like it that way yes so let me just take it from inside so this is the settings for the compressor that i'm actually using it to mix it so this compressor what it's actually doing here is we are just making sure that this um waveform here the way it is large here should be actually be the same like this one so when this part is playing it wouldn't be down and here will be loud now nah, we don't want that thing so this one is actually controlling the dynamic way you get it so that we wouldn't have some parts playing louder than the others yes so this is the settings for a fast attack and um i think fast or mid fast release of 48.9 it depends on what you really want and this is the ratio my threshold and i added a gain of 1.0 so if i play it for you with the eq auto to c1 gate and everything this is how it sounds now you can see that when we reach this side it wouldn't play louder than if i take the compressor off so let me play it from here every fear Every fee and I say a bay ye Debbie Nini Nemo cry me name said I chimp ye bay ye JHS we are fee pleat some SHS we are no fee go I no guess set so half you blow up You can see that when he reaches this point and he's he's actually trying to shout it doesn't blast or it doesn't come louder than this part right 
Nini nemo cry me name said I chimp ye be ye. JHS we are fee pleat SHS we are no fee go. I no get set so half you blow. So you can see for yourself that without the compressor, this part is actually coming out louder than this part, right? So the compressor is actually doing that thing for us. So I know why I put this compressor on it. So know why you are putting certain plugins on it. Yes. And the next thing is this EQ over here. This I'm just trying to make sure I get some body of the vocals and actually put certain frequencies in order. So the only thing that I did here is um, I push this gain around 50 Hz and I push um, the attenuate of the highs around 1.1 and I boosted it around 2.0. So that is the only thing I actually did on this EQ here. Yes. So just to treat some frequencies and get some body of the highs and everything there. And the next thing is um, to get warm vocal. We have so many ways to get your vocals to sound warm for you. You can use the compressor to do. You can use EQ and other stuff to do. But this time I'm just using the saturation to get the warm vocal. You get it? Yeah. So I pushed the drive around 40.50%. I wanted more of the warm there. So you can just choose your own way of getting the warm for the vocals. Yes. So that is that for that. Plugin. So I'm explaining why I'm putting certain plugins on it here. And this one too is one of bright vocals. And this one too, what is actually doing on the vocal here is actually giving it some um, brightness. I mean the high ends. We are giving it some high ends. You get it? So because I felt that after adding this EQ, it was sounding, I mean, dark as compared to the beat and the frequency. So I wanted to have um bright vocals here so what i'm actually doing is boosting the high ends by putting this plugin on it so that's why the reason why i put this plugin on it i'm not just doing it for doing sake after boosting all those high ends i felt that um the sibilances were too much and everything so i had to use the dsr to take away the sibilances you know, the harshness and everything i have to tame it down so around eighty thousand hertz going so if I'm using the EQ, I think it's from so I think it's from maybe this side up to this side. All those harshness or all those sibilances is what I'm actually bringing it down. Get it so that we can actually get some ears to listen to that. So without this compressor and the reverb and the rest, this is what we are actually having right now. Listen to it. Debbie, Nini Nemo, cry me name, said I chimp ye be ye. JHS, we are fee pleat SHS, we are no fee go. I no get set so half you blow, I don't want find job to we are fee go. And unty, me back cry, send okay, ye be so very nice. Then after that, listening to it together with the beat, I felt that the vocals was actually down after compressing and all those processing. It was actually down the beat was overshadowing it so i had to use this one to add some color to it and make sure i'm getting some uh, i mean um the gain level to come up as compared to the old one yes so they're just adding some color and also um bringing the volume of the uh, vocals up to match up with the beat for it so with this compressor on it that's what we are having right now yes yeah Every fee and I say ye be ye Debbie Nini Nemo cry me name said I chimp ye be ye JHS we are fee pleat and So you can tell that because I put this river uh, this compressor on it this compressor C L A two A on it now we are having um the vocals to be loud right to match up with the beat right now. So the next thing that I did is, I mean, we have to create some spaces for the vocals. That's using the reverb, the delays, and all those things just to give some nine nine street to it. So um, the reverb is to give us some spaces for the vocals to fit into the beat and also uh, move around well with the frequencies with the other stuff. So this is the reverb that I'm using. I'm using Bahala Vintage Reverb. So this is the settings for it. I calculated the um, pre-delay. Yes, I calculated the pre-delay by 60,000 divided by the BPM of the song. And the BPM of the song too is 91, then divided by 8, so which gave me 82.40, and I have to put it there. Yeah, so the decay too is this, 
and i cut the low ends of this and i'm just using the mode plate yes the mode the plate is what i'm using and i put this compressor on it here just to actually control the amount of reverb that i'm actually sending to the vocals so if you can see here if you go to the send side um i think what the amount of reverb i'm sending to the vocals is minus 20 and i'm using the reverb uh, the compressor to control the amount of reverb that is actually going to wet the vocals so that we can have the you know when it comes to this reverb thing we have the ones that you really want to hear the reverb and the ones that you really want to feel the reverb this time around i didn't want to hear the reverb much i wanted to feel it or hear it like that way you get it so if i play i play it with a reverb listen so if you listen to it you can hear that you are just feeling the reverb you are not hearing it too much unlike umali and Victoni. Uh, the way they make their vocals or simi you can actually hear the vo uh, the reverb around your sound yes but this time i just wanted to feel the reverb rather than hearing it as compared to the vocals right yeah, so i'm just using this to control the amount of reverb that i want to feel yeah, so you can just take the compressor from it and control it here that one too also works i can do that one too sometimes i do that but this time i just choose to put the compressor there just to control it that one and it works for me now and there's the settings for the delay so for the delay i'm using this delay from waves plugin so we are having the low cut of this and the high pass of this so i took the analog off because this gives us some noises in your vocal that you might not even notice but after you export and you are playing the song you can see that there's those noises inside so i have to put the analog off if i want any analog i can just go ahead and use any other plugin rather than this one so there's the settings for it. the feedback around 30 yes and um, the delay around one over four so these are settings and the amount of delay i'm sending to it is one uh, minus 20 as the same as the reverb minus 20 and it works for me and this one is just an option you can just go ahead and activate it or not this is just a doubler um so i'll activate a whole of it for you to see what i'm actually sending so this is the settings for it i push the high ends around this and muted the mid frequencies i wanted to have some stereo feel around the vocals so if i play it and i bring it way forward you can hear the difference um, what i'm actually sending to the vocals listen i hope you heard what um the doubler was doing to the vocals yeah. so that's what i'm actually sending to the vocal but i don't want too much of it and i don't want you to feel it um here is too much so you should be in a way of supporting it small small you get it yes yeah, so that's what i'm actually adding to the vocals and i added this chorus effect to the vocals so if i bring it way up here you can also hear the chorus effect what it's actually doing to the vocals so let me play it and you listen to that part every <laughs> so you can hear what the chorus is also adding to the vocal so this is the settings for the um chorus this is the chorus effect that i'm actually using and i i'm using it as send effect it's not on the track straightforward it's send right all these are sent it's it's an option you can just go for it or you can just leave it like that i just wanted to um color the vocals in a way yes have this studio feel of vocals rather than just live vocals so this i did 
control this vocals or make these vocals for you guys so if you want us to work just send me a um, message on whatsapp and i will just link up then we talk business so this is your boy king series straight from busy home beat don't forget to share like and comment to this video it's your boy king series straight from busy home beat yes and i'm out